We are marching against the DA and saying to the DA, you have failed our people in Tswa. And for the longest of time, we have allowed you to live a lie that you are governing and governing well. We are telling you a story now. Tell us that we are lying. Here is your story. It's well recorded. Here in Tswan, the capital city, you are in charge. Leave Maguarela and his shenanigans. Because this Maguarela guy, you knew him for the longest of time. He's your man. He was working for you just like Solim Simang. You've got all their scandals. And then uh, when the time come, you release them. Maguarela, you knew this guy was there. The day he was put to become the mayor, you now exposing him. We as the NC, when we send public representatives to parliament, including to local municipalities, we vet them. Why didn't the DA vet Maguarela? He was a speaker for two years. All of a sudden, immediately, the day he was elected in council, they told him, you won't last a day. Because he's a crook, he tried to do wrong things, and he went on and on and do crook things and so on. This municipality didn't even disclose to us and to its citizens that it was hacked and millions of rents were taken from the bank account of this municipality. Uh, I got that report yesterday from the Auditor General that the bank account was hacked and the hackers took millions and millions of rents uh, from, the, from the municipality. And the municipality has hidden that part. Um, and, and it's a serious, serious omission. Uh, they tried to recover some few of those millions that were hacked, uh, that were taken. So we are very strong and therefore we need to monitor our local government functions. And this People's March therefore emphasized that point to bring credibility and dignity of these municipalities back uh, to the people of our province. President wa ANC Sri Ramaphosa ukumbele bandla ra makomunist ra China na mangwana mabanda at politiki eka matiku ya misaba kuheri sabu sweti. Bangwa ra reformu wana kufumaleka kanshubuke emsabeni. Today we are faced with the effects of climate change, global pandemics, terrorism, conflict and rising geopolitical tensions. At the same time, we are called upon to end poverty, hunger, unemployment, illiteracy, and the inequality that exists within and between nations.